Hello and welcome! Today we are playing the German super battleship, the Hannover, on the PTS server on the map Okinawa. This is a game mode called Grand Battles, and that's where you can play the two super battleships. The Satsuma, which is basically like a tier 11 Japanese battleship, and the Hannover, which kind of works like a tier 11 German battleship, at least that's kind of how it feels like. The Hanofa is a secondary spec. You have something called special combat instructions. Successful gun adjustment firing temporarily boosts your ship's characteristics. If you don't understand what that means, don't worry, I don't understand it either. But I do know what it actually does. When you hit with your main batteries, after you hit five times, you... I mean, five consecutive salvos, it... it basically fills up the bar and then you get a boost to your secondaries. 12% range and I think 40% dispersion. And it lasts for 50 seconds. I find it to be a rather lackluster ability. Because quite often it'll activate at a time when there's just nothing in range. Like if it activated right now, it would be completely wasted. Okay, maybe not. It could hit that rune over there in the middle of the map. But chances are that it, it wouldn't last for long. And another point is that if you don't hit targets, in some kind of time, I don't know how often, uh, the um, char or the bar empties again, which means that you need to fill it up again, so I don't really rely on that ability. Overall, it really feels like a Grosso Kofest, except, well, better. It's bigger, and it does turn with an either bi even bigger turning circle. However, it has 483mm caliber guns, which means that you overmatch 32mm of armor. And that makes this really good. Even though the dispersion itself on the guns, especially at close range, is really, really, really bad in my opinion. I mean, at times at least it feels that way. Because I've had salvos where basically I'm at 6 kilometers, I fire all of my guns, and most of the shells just fall short or they just go about as wide as a battleship is long or something like that it's but most of the time it, i guess it works fine she does have hydro but this hydro doesn't do much oh by the way this is the special ability activating now my secondaries have extra range up till 14.1 kilometers sadly there's nothing in range because again it activates based on when you hit your main batteries and automatically so I find that to be quite annoying, because I would really like that ability in about 20 seconds, but by that time, um, most of the ability has already run out. Now, match-wise, the enemy doesn't have any destroyers left, so I can just go and advance on my own. I'm gonna stop somewhere soon, because I'll be focusing on the Montana. The secondary will work on her, I am a, basically a secondary build, so the secondary should be really effective. She has, I think, like 32 128mm secondaries, but obviously half of them would be on one side, right? Or roughly, which means that you only get half of that, but that's still a lot of them. And they do penetrate 32mm of armor, which means if uh, Montana or Yamato or something like that shows her bow, they start taking a huge amount of damage, especially at close range. Come on, Citadel? No. I mean... I guess, considering we only have 8 guns, hitting 5 of the 8 shells at 9 kilometers is actually really good, right? So you might be like, what do you mean with the dispersion thing? But I have definitely noticed that at times, especially at close range, the dispersion just ends up being really bad. And it's kind of incomprehensible to me. Especially because overall it works really well. Like, I like the guns of the ship. And even the firing angles actually seem pretty good. I mean, look at this, right? Pretty sure a Grossokovist can't angle this much against a target that's in front of her while still firing. Ooh, my main battery got taken out. That's actually something I've had happen a fair few times, and I'm actually using main, main armaments modification 1, or whatever the thing is that makes main batteries tougher. Regardless, though, I think that Montana is gonna go down very, very soon. <laughs> Goodbye, Montana. Next up, we're gonna focus the Satsuma. That's the Japanese super battleship. You could say that we're evenly matched in terms of team, but at the same time I have 45k HP, she has 100k HP. But I can overmatch her bow and I have to say, 
The Satsuma is very much like the Yamato. She has basically the same armor layout, except I think some armor plates are just thicker, which means that her bow is actually 32 millimeters. So I can just overmatch it. And uh, as long as I stay angled enough that she can't do massive damage in return to me, I should be able to win this fight. By the way, look at the shells. <laughs> they just missed. That was a really annoying straddle. But again, as long as I stay angled, I'm gonna wait until my rear turret's turn. And meanwhile, the secondaries will just keep pounding her 32mm bow, which means that she starts taking more and more damage. Wait, what? So I aimed at the bow, as you saw, and all the shells missed at uh, 6 kilometers. I guess there's only two of them, but still. So, main battery is broken, my rear turrets are almost finished turning. Right now my secondaries are pounding her, as you can see, look at that. 73k, 69k, 67k. Ooh, a citadel hit, nice. So, that's the cheek armor for you, I guess. I'm gonna wait until Satsuma fires, then I'm gonna bring my rear turrets. Yep, there they are. Now rear turrets, and we're gonna try to hit the cheek again. Hello, and goodbye. Oh, we didn't actually need the rare turrets. <laughs> this is a great fight. I mean, I did so much damage here. So, the only ship left is that Alsace. I'd really like to play this in a 12 versus 12 and on the live servers, because I think players will play significantly better there, and I think the ships will probably have a lot more weaknesses. So, in my experience, these are basically still big battleships. Uh, destroyers, especially with torpedoes, are incredibly deadly. Holland is horrifying to play against because, well, you have Hydro, right? But it's the same 6km Hydro or 4km torpedo detection as regular German battleships do. And even a Grosse Kofest has trouble avoiding torpedoes that get spotted by the Hydro. Hanofa is bigger and turns slower, so she'll have even more trouble. Overall, as a result, um, destroyers are very powerful against these, and so is HE spam. Uh, you'll see that, I think, tomorrow, because I actually played a <laughs> Klebea match where me and the Wooster basically took out <laughs> two Satsumas with just HE spam and some torpedoes. So, 282k damage. Sank three ships, easy. 271 secondary hits, even captured the base. By the way, these are the penetration values, so you have some idea. These are large caliber guns, so you overmatch quite a lot. Instead of ricocheting, and 271 secondary hits. 2189 base XP, but it was a match with bots, so maybe not as... Oh! <laughs> the other Hanof actually sank four ships, more than me. 2.3 million potential. I still had a fair bit of HP left despite the 136k damage that I took. And most of that was actually from AP. Like Satsuma and Montana both did about 60k AP damage to me. I did slightly more to them, but still. By the way, secondary batteries did 60k damage, fires from the secondary batteries did 63k damage. So that's 120,000 damage from the secondaries. In this sense, the secondaries worked out really well for an 8 minute and 19 second game. But there were some bots so we didn't have to contend with destroyers this time, luckily. So let's take a look at the Hanofa in port. I mean, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay, it actually just looks like a Grossakofest, except with uh, 8 barrels rather than 12. And even though when I tell you that the ship is bigger, it really won't seem that way because the Grosse Kofest is also a really big ship. So this is the Grosse Kofest, right? I mean... And now let's switch over to the Hanofa. I mean, it's still just as big, right? It's You can't really tell the difference, but the ship is bigger. It is definitely bigger. It should be wider and it should be longer. And I mean, look. 1170 meter turning circle. This is a massive turning circle and 21 second rudder. I'm actually using a slightly different captain build than normal, than I normally use, an emergency repair specialist. I don't actually know if this is worth using on the battleships that I keep using. Maybe something else here. I'd like actually ideas. 
then grease the gears as I usually do, adrenaline rush, then emergency repair expert for the extra heal, and then I went secondaries with the rest. Secondary range, then close quarters combat, and improved secondary battery aiming. This is minus 35%. I don't know if this skill is actually worth it, but I took it anyway. So these are the secondaries. There's 32 128 millimeter caliber guns, these things right here. 32 of them. So 16 turrets of, double, of twin turrets. And they penetrate 32 millimeters. They go 12.5 kilometers, but remember, when the ability activates with 12% extra range, it's like 14 kilometers almost. Or maybe it is actually already 14 kilometers. Which means that these secondaries start firing at really long range. Unfortunately, I've played like two or three battles with the ship and I've only been able to use the extra range like once. So, I wouldn't really bet on it. Torp protection is actually only 30%. Armor looks basically like a Grossokofist's. 50mm deck armor. You have the 60mm icebreaker at the front. 32mm normal bow otherwise. Then you have this cheek thing which is 150mm. Upper belt is 50... No, 180mm. This is actually quite relevant for cruisers. Or some of the AP destroyers. Because they can't pen this. And the main belt is 420 millimeters, which might actually be more than the uh, Kremlin or comparable. But then you also have the uh, <laughs> the you can see it right here, right? This this angle thing here. That's another 300 millimeters. You ain't going through that. This ship is extremely hard to sit at all. I wonder if uh, planes can sit little, because even this thing is 160 millimeters. It's quite difficult. Now compare this to like the Satsuma, right? What is this? Why do you have that stupid cheek armor? At least get rid of this stuff. Right? The stupid cheek armor is why I got those citadels. It's dumb. Please don't. Okay? Because otherwise it's basically like Yamato armor. Look at this. 32 millimeters. Okay, the middle is 57, cool, but this thing is 32. And, well, lots of things can overmatch 32 millimeters of armor these days. And then you have this stupid cheek behind it. I mean, sure, it's 360, but it's still... This is annoying, and I don't think this super battleship should have it. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Satsuma video, or Hanofa video, sorry, not Satsuma. I guess we'll do Satsuma later, right? At some point. Oh yeah, upgrades too. Upgrades are also what you'd expect. I guess I could go for the secondary stuff, but main batteries are obviously the main thing. Oh yeah, they are 483 millimeters. By the way, the HE shells penetrate 121 millimeters. <laughs> Damn. Uh, then concealment. Although, yeah, no, I think concealment makes sense. You could go ship consumables, but I think concealment makes sense. Damage control, because I don't have basic survivability, otherwise I would definitely go propulsion even on this ship. Then secondary range, hydro, and main arts modification 1. Although, I guess maybe going for auxiliary might be better, but you saw, even with this, sometimes my main gun was knocked out. So perhaps not really worth it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.